Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on imaginary number. We're asked to simplify radical of minus 8. Imaginary number is one of those weird odd things. At the beginning, first look at it, you go, huh? Why would you want to do that? Okay, someone made up this rule set. Square root of minus 1 is equal to i. Which means, if you square both sides, i squared is equal to minus 1. Now, how odd is that? Now, it gets even more interesting from there. Imagine i to the fourth. What would happen? Well, that's equal to i squared squared again. That's how we get to the fourth power, right? This is minus 1 squared, and then becomes a positive 1. So here is this weird thing we call imaginary number i. If i is squared equal to minus 1, i to the fourth and then becomes a positive 1. Okay. We're going to have more fun with this later on. But let's take a look at what we do for minus 8. Well, we're going to use that definition. First thing I always tell students, uh, split it up into something you know how to do and something that's new. This part, obviously, is a new thing. By definition, we're just going to call it i. Radical root of 8, hopefully by now it's a old thing for you. And then you have i over here, radical 2, radical 4. I always think radical simplification is kind of looking for gold nugget. You're looking for the perfect square. Perfect square are the gold nuggets. So if I have given you a radical minus 32, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Take the minus out. I live in Arizona, so think of the minus sign as a cactus needle. They're thorny and unpleasant, so we're taking them out first. And then over here, if you don't see the perfect square over there, and then you can start with 4 times 8. But better yet, 2 times 16 is a much better choice, faster too, because 16 is a gold nugget. We like gold nugget. And this is a 4. So now there's a 4 radical 2 times i. Okay. Now one more tip on this i. Let's see how strange it gets. i to the 6th power. What do we do for that? Well, one thing if on the test you completely blank out have no idea what to do. Let's just write it out. So there's three here, there's three here. All together I have six. Every two of them I have a minus one. So I'm just going to literally go in there and put them together. What do I have? Minus one times minus one is a positive one times minus one. And guess what? I have a minus one again. So this i to the nth power changes back between Plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. If you get a really weird one, that's odd power. i times i times i. This is minus 1 times i. And guess what? i to the third is equal to minus i. All right. That's enough of that weird imaginary number. All right. This is how we handle imaginary number. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, making math fun. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.